Women like Marie Anne Shingabide and Yvonne Womuremnyi are just some of the females in Rwanda that have taken full advantage of the country's gender equality policies, branching out into construction and becoming success stories. Government officials point out that gender equality is meant to ensure a brighter future for the country. The changes are visible and I believe that you as journalists see them. Even on the streets, you sometimes see men helping women to carry children, or even their handbags at times. In some homes, some husbands cook. I believe things are changing and it requires that we continue our efforts to make this happen. We cannot be discouraged now with all the results that we have been seeing, though we must not become complacent and instead increase our efforts many times over to get the results we want. Gender equality experts have been asking that people avoid anything that may try to present gender equality as a struggle between men and women, and some who call themselves activists from the Western world are being blamed for pushing such dangerous ideologies, with demeaning hashtags towards men on Twitter recently seen a lot. Uh, we are denouncing such people because it is not right to put all men in one basket. We have different men. Some are upright and do not abuse women, while some do. You cannot therefore judge everybody the same, and even those who are abusive can be changed with time if they are dealt with properly. Calling all men trash is just setting yourself up for failure. Women too have been denouncing such approaches. It's contradictory. That is not gender equality. People who call others trash had no proper upbringing and have no values. Gender equality implies giving both men and women equal rights and respect. When you do that, all are capable of achieving great things. That is what gender equality means. Equal rights, responsibilities and opportunities. Experts are therefore warning against people in Rwanda blindly adopting Western notions without first thoroughly examining them. Some countries and organizations export the idea of gender equality through things like development aid, which is not always positive. Because when you look at WID, WAD and GAD, they seem to imply that women don't need men to develop. They start saying that some projects are just for women, but our policies are that both men and women work together for development. If men are accused of putting in place systems that give them opportunities at the expense of others, then they have an important role in correcting that wrong. Rwanda's constitution is drawn up in such a way as to promote gender equality in all sectors of the country, holding back no one, be it men or women.